So as you can tell by the title of this video, I've got some um, absolutely heartbreaking news to share with you. But Mabel was, um, she was put down this morning and I need to obviously explain what happened to you guys as well because you deserve to know. Um, I've been trying to film this video over and over again. I keep breaking down, but I'm going to really try and just get through this video and share with you guys um, what happened. So this morning I woke up, started, I, I had a plan to film a video all about heel work because the heel work was doing amazingly. We just launched the new boot camp course. I was really excited to share that with you. Just getting ready to start filming the video and... Um, I noticed she didn't quite see myself, she was a bit lethargic, she wouldn't drink and then I tried to give her a breakfast and she wouldn't eat anything and then she started doing this thing with her tummy, her tummy was kind of convulsing a little bit and she was sat up, she couldn't lie down and settle but she'd sit with her head like neck stuck out and stooped low and I did film this at this point because I just thought oh she's probably just eaten something and she's got a funny tummy so I was kind of going to film a video and talk about a few bits and bobs and just have a catch up with you really um, and like I say I'm not going to use that footage because now knowing what that was I don't feel comfortable putting that on the internet but um it started to get a little bit worse and I started to get a little bit concerned so I googled it and then I realised that maybe it is something to be concerned about and I better run her to the vets just to be safe. So I ran her to the vets um, and then things happened at the vets and then when I got home I filmed another video um, that I'm going to include now because I think that at the time it was fresh and it kind of explains where we got up to at that point so i'll i'll cut back to that video now and then come back and explain what happened after that video clip so this is the seventh time i've tried to film this video hey sully you all right buddy because i keep getting upset and i'm determined not to be one of those guys that cries on the internet hey jackie you got no idea what's going on do you but as you can see by the title of the video, um, Mabel isn't here and she's not well at all. If you saw the last video, you saw that I was concerned about um, how poorly she was and she didn't look herself and she was a bit lethargic and not eating. Hey dude, hi yeah, uh, you leave that alone, that's my microphone. I need to tell these guys what's going on. Oh boy. So she was lethargic, she wasn't eating, she wouldn't drink um, and her breathing was becoming really erratic. Um, after I filmed that video, the last video, I went upstairs and Googled it. And obviously I'm not a vet, I'm a behaviourist. So I understood that the breathing wasn't any form of anxiety or playfulness or fear or heat or anything. I knew it was a respiratory issue. Um, I Googled it, Google told me that a few things that it could be and that all of the potentials require emergency um, medical attention for the vet so I took her straight to my vet we went straight there within the hour um, got there waited in the waiting room and my vet saw us really quickly and as soon as he looked at her on the table the way his face said it all to me he um, he checked her temperature, her temperature had plummeted, uh, he checked her gums, her gums had gone like grey blue, um, her breathing had got worse and her overall demeanour was terrible and he said this, this dog's dying, this is a very poorly dog. Um, she definitely requires immediate medical attention or she is going to slip away and I don't know if there's anything we can actually do for her. Um, yeah, that's obviously the last thing anyone wanted to hear and it was the last thing I wanted to hear she's not even four months old yet and the vet was telling me that she uh, hey buddy I'm gonna keep on filming this let me just sit up here mate I'll finish this video and then I'll give you some attention okay yeah I love you too yeah so the vet said she's very poorly um, he checked her over and it's a heart there's a congenital heart issue with Mabel um, he said I'll cut to the chase, he did lots more of a test, he said there's, um, like I say, she's dying, um, fuck it now, yeah, he said the dog's dying, um, there's nothing I can do here, it's beyond my expertise, um, and even an expert cardiologist probably won't be able to do anything, uh, and especially with how quickly she's deteriorating, there's, um, 
not much that anybody can do. So there's two options. I can refer you to a cardiologist or we can um, manage it in-house and stop her from any suffering right now. Um, obviously at that point I completely broke down um, and it's this point in the video where I keep getting upset but I'm gonna try and push ahead. So anyway, long story short, I chose to go to the cardiologist. It was about 45 minute drive. Vet told me prepare myself that she might not make the journey. She did, luckily. We got there, we got saw straight away. The head cardiologist at the veterinary hospital isn't in today, but there was another vet with heart experience who checked her over, confirmed that there's definitely a heart issue there, but until they do some tests on her, they can't guarantee what those issues are. So she um, is still with us. Again, she made it very clear that it's a very poorly dog um, and that there's no guarantees of anything and that there's nothing that they can do tomorrow until the head cardiologist's there, but they can run all the tests. Um, and based on the results of the tests, they can make sure hopefully that she can get to see the head cardiologist tomorrow. So that she's got to have an ultrasound and an ECG scan that she'll be having right now. Um, they said I had to leave her there and most probably leave her there overnight and come home. So I've come back and I'm sat waiting, just waiting for a phone call as to whether um, A, she managed to pull through the tests because they do need to anaesthetize her to do those and the x-rays because they need to check that there's no fluid and stuff on the lungs. I can't believe it. She was perfect yesterday. No issues whatsoever. Um, woke up and if you saw that video I was like probably eating something funny to go from that to there's a good chance that she's not going to be here tomorrow it's not what I was expecting um, I told you that I'd bring you along for the highs and lows of this journey and obviously it doesn't get any worse than it is for me today so um, yeah just give me a minute so yeah, so I, I told the vet, they were brilliant. I can't fault the vets, honestly. They've all been superb. And the ones at the emergency hospital, she was incredible. So um, she was very open and honest with me, which is obviously even, I'm a big softie. I was having a meltdown in the surgery while she was explaining it all, but I asked her to be honest. And obviously I don't want Mabel to suffer. So, um, so I said, run the tests if you think that she won't suffer through the tests. She said, no, I think we can get the tests done, no problem. Um, I don't think she's gonna deteriorate any worse than this. And obviously we'll keep an eye on her. So she's under surveillance at the, um, at the hospital now. They'll run the tests. And then um, they said, there's nothing, we, we, there's nothing else we can do until we know the results from those tests. So I said, well, if you think she's okay to have the tests done, run those tests find out what exactly what the crack is and if we can do something about it we will do something about it but um but we won't put her through any unnecessary suffering if it comes to that so um so i was as you can see there on that clip i was already very worried um very distressed and about five literally five minutes after i finished filming that clip i got a call from the um from the vet at the hospital that I'd taken her to saying that they'd done the um, the ECG and the ultrasound and that she had a serious, um, oh sorry I forgot what it's called, um, congenital heart defect and that she'd had a really bad heart attack and why she was at the hospital after I'd left her she'd had another really bad heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, I'm determined to get through this. And that she was um, she was clinging on to life. And the vet um, thinks that there was a way that they could probably maybe keep her alive because it was about 45 minutes from where we live. And she thought she could keep her alive long enough for me to get there if I wanted to be with her. But that it would take some quite serious drugs to do so. And that she was suffering quite badly. And they thought the best course of action would be um, to euthanise her straight away to stop the suffering. <sighs> oh, come on. So I asked whether there was any options available to us whatsoever. 
money no object options and there was absolutely nothing the heart defect was so bad the heart attack was so bad that they'd got to a point where that there was nothing they could do for her i didn't want her to suffer just to wait for me to be there and then for her to pick up on how emotional i was so i made the decision <laughs> So I made the decision to um, to agree with the vet and to stop her suffering and have her put down. <sighs> Obviously that, <laughs> if I've had a worse day than this, I don't remember it. It was um, awful. Amazing, yes, she's been this. She was perfect, she was absolutely perfect. Dog, I was so proud of her, I was so excited to film the videos today and show you how well she was coming on and show you how we were doing it so that you guys could follow along at home. And for her to go from perfect yesterday to this today, I'm, I'm still in shock about it all. Uh, I had to just had to pick my son up from nursery and explain to my four-year-old son why Mabel isn't here, <sighs> which... <sighs> which, um, which obviously absolutely sucks. That was, that was horrible. He doesn't quite understand, he got a bit upset. <laughs> just because she wasn't here i don't think he quite grasps the concept of, of things and people dying yet um but yeah my wife's with him now and he just wanted to play hot wheels after we told him he got a bit upset just like i say that she wasn't here and that he hasn't got a doggy anymore and um as kids do he moved on to wanting to play like i say i don't think he can quite process or cons um just just realize it yet so uh, absolutely awful I knew I needed to make this video I thought I'd rip it off like a plaster just get it over and done with so that we can we can um, deal with it ourselves obviously I have no idea what I'm going to do on YouTube now moving forward with all this but you guys deserve to know because you've been a big part of her from a puppy as well and um and I did say that I'd share the ups and the downs and obviously it doesn't get any worse than this at all um it was nobody's fault. It's, I went out of my way to find the best breeder possible based off what happened with my bull mastiff. Um, I, want, I found a really good breeder. Again, money, no object. They did all the checks, everything you meant to do. And sometimes these things happen. The vets were brilliant. I can't thank them enough. They were amazing for what is a horrible situation. They were absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, we... Um, we yeah i haven't really got anything else to say i'm sorry but um thank you i suppose